Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to Miss Survival. So thank you so much first off for all the comments and suggestions on my last video. So you guys were saying I really need to get a crowbar. So let's have a look in here and see what we actually need to be able to get a crowbar. All right, we need eight metal scraps and two components. Sure, we can do that. Now, I'm wondering if, because I need a crowbar, do I also need a lockpick? Um, I don't actually know what the difference is between the two. It's going to take an hour. All right. Fingers crossed the, the, the mist doesn't come in that, uh, that hour. We are also... And of course it does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Why would the mist not show up in that hour? Oh my goodness. I'm just going to hide in here. <laughs> because they were, they are actually spawning in our area too now, which I'm not exactly excited about. So we, did we craft that or did I chicken out? Okay, so we now have a crowbar. I also want to see what we actually need to be able to build one of these generators because I would actually like to get some lights and things like that set up at some stage if we can. So for a generator, we are going to need some metal scraps, some components, and some gears. Well, I honestly don't know if we have that many components left now. All right, so I don't actually have enough components left to be able to make the generator, but that is okay. So what I am thinking, once this mist clears off, we might actually head out and uh, go see if we can check out that little white house. Um, that we've seen in the last episode. Hopefully there's not too many infected in there and we don't get ourselves into too much trouble. Um, and then that way we can collect some components and we can try and make the generator. So we've got a, a little bit of electricity around here. Now you guys were saying to make sure that I use the rendered fat. Um, oh, this isn't actually burning at the moment. Um, what do I need in my fire? Oh, I need everything. Okay, I must have taken it all out and put it in the barrel, did I? I sure did. All right, give me this stuff, please. And uh, we better get that rendering. Because you guys were saying that the fuel, obviously, we can only get X amount of fuel. Whereas the fat, like, we can literally just continuously go out and collect more animals. And then that way we can get more fat. So is that working now? It is. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So, this mist should be gone in just another moment. All right, I think we are good to go. I'm fairly certain all the little zombies have returned home. Now, I don't think our eggs have hatched yet either. I sort of had a bit of a look in here earlier. No, we still have four chickens and there are maybe four eggs in here as well. Um, I'll grab you and throw you back down there so you can nest a little bit better, Bobby. And I did go and fix our car as well because uh, we blew the engine up in the car. Well, not we, me. Yes, I did it. <laughs> um, when I crashed the other day, it did actually destroy our engine. So I'm just going to head back to where we seen that White House and we'll go check that one out. It's probably actually not a bad idea to um, come look at this motel again as well because uh, I'm not too sure if that loot would have respawned at the top of the motel. It may have. So we may need to come back and do that at some stage. So I believe the White House was just down here a bit. Was it not? Alright, I think we are here. I'm pretty sure this was around where the White House was. So I'm going to turn my engine off and get out. Now, what do we have on us? We have our shotgun. I don't think I have... Oh, I have a little bit of ammo. All right, so we're going to reload all our guns before we head up there. Just in case. I'm fairly certain there's probably going to be infected living in that house. All right. So I got my shoddy out, my faithful shoddy. I do prefer this gun over the others, but you guys are saying that it doesn't actually matter, that you can use any of them. So it looks like we're just going to head up this hill and uh, check it all out. Hopefully there aren't any bandits here, actually. I haven't come across those guys yet, but I do know they are here somewhere. So uh, just might maybe be careful here, just in case you never know what you're going to come across. 
All right, so we do have a car out here we can destroy for some components or some stuff. Now, I can't actually hear any infected at the moment. Okay, I can hear them now. What time is it? All right, it's 5.45. All right, we got to get this done before it gets dark because I don't want these guys coming out and eating me. All right, there's one in the corner there. All right, one down. Was it just one? I don't know. May have actually only been one. Looks like the stairs are blocked. Um. All right, awesome. It looks like there was actually only one in this house. Okay, cool. So we are free to look around. So we've got some components and some rags. I uh, can't take any of those bottles of bleach or anything like that. All right. Um, we also got some more metal scraps and some more components. We are getting the double loot drop because we haven't actually been here before. So let's have a good look around everywhere. Make sure we don't leave anything behind. All right, we've got some salt. I do also need to go kill a bear and um, salt the meat and put it on the drying rack and see how that all works. So I haven't actually done that yet. And um, I'm thinking if we want to preserve our meat, it's probably gonna be the best way to do it. Oh, we got some dog food and some nails. Don't mind if I do. I can't uh, take any of this stuff that's on the counter. All right. We got anything over here near these boxes? Uh, doesn't look like it. We got some more rags over here. Sure, no worries. That'd be kind of cool if we could take that and put stuff on it. I wish I could take a lot of this stuff, to be totally honest, and I'll just take it all home, like decorations for our house. Um, those drawers are all busted. Anything in these drawers here? Nothing in that one. Uh, the bottom one, holy dooly, there's lots of stuff in the bottom one. Let's take all of that stuff. Awesome. Anything in the top right drawer? Nothing in there. Alrighty. Cool, cool. So far, we've actually got a lot of loot from this house. Now, can I get up there? Can I jump over this? I can. All right, cool. Don't know if there's anything up here yet. Um, maybe we're not meant to be up here exploring. I'm not terribly sure, but we could definitely get up there easy enough. Uh, can't go through the drawers. No bedside tables. Can I sleep on your bed? Can't take a little nap. Okay. <laughs> you never know. I know, it's kind of weird sleeping in a... In a stranger's house in the apocalypse. Oh, look, there's a picture of a little kitten. Hello, kitty. So uh, he might be roaming around out there somewhere. We could possibly find a pet cat and take that home. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing, but it would be kind of cool. And then we wouldn't just have our friendly uh, chickens. We'd, we'd have a cat as well. Kind of cool as long as the cat didn't eat the chickens. All right, get some more components, some more rags. Uh, can we get in here? Ooh, use crowbar. So you guys were spot on with that. Uh, let's do this. Bust this door open. I'm so glad you guys suggested that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to get in here because I didn't have a crowbar. Anything in the bag? Ooh, we got more ammo. Excellent, excellent. That is what I like to see. Awesome stuff. I'm actually already full. Jeez. All right, let's reload our shotgun. Clear up a little bit of room. All right, all of our weapons are reloaded. Awesome stuff. Uh, nothing else in here. Okay, I think this house is clear. I think we got everything. Can I get in here? Oh, I can. Nearly missed it. Nearly missed the dunny. Oh, what do we got? Is that is that booze? Can I? No, I can't. Can't take the booze. Dang. All right, so there's nothing actually in here anyways. All right, so that is this house cleared. Excellent. All right, um, I'm going to trash this car as well. I, I don't actually know how long it is before the, um, before the infected actually respawn. Like, they could potentially respawn with us standing here. 
So let's go ahead and demolish this car. Actually, you know what I just realized? I don't have enough room. I'm going to need to come down here and put something away in our car so we can collect all those components and things. All right. In here, let me drop some of this stuff off. And another thing I should probably do before it gets too dark is just have a look around the outside because I forgot to do that. So let's just double check around the outside of this house. Make sure there is nothing here that we are missing. Then we would have missed all this stuff, you big dummy. Got to make sure you look right the way around. Hopefully there's no bears near this house so they're going to come down and chew our faces off. Um, looks like that is just about it. Awesome. Oops, what was that? A leaf? That's right. I don't need a leaf. I can get a leaf closer to our house if we need leaves. All right, let's uh, chop this car up and then I should probably get home because I am getting quite fatigued. I hope that we are actually able to do this car before I run out of fatigue. I, I don't know. And have you guys ever run all the way to the end of the fatigue? What actually happens? Do you just pass out? Do you die? Like, I don't know. Do you just fall asleep on the ground? I'm, I'm honestly not terribly sure. So let's grab all this stuff. Oh, spark plugs, some wood boards. Awesome. I think that was everything. Excellent. Gonna take the stone as well. All right. I might head home, get a little bit of rest, and see you guys in the morning. Oh, my word. This is not good. Ah, uh, it's fair to say I didn't make my way home. Holy dooly. I didn't know we could crash the car like that. I mean, someone had warned me that the cars flip, but um that was uh that was quite extreme. We aren't too far from home though. So uh what did I actually destroy other than Oh, I destroyed the entire car. That's it. Engine gone, battery gone, spark plug gone. <laughs> and we destroyed one of our tires as well. All right. So, uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, I was honestly just on my way home and I, I don't even know how I rolled it. That was a complete freak accident. Like, I was literally just minding my own business, driving along, and I may have slightly clipped another car. And uh, yeah, that uh, was my demise in the end. So we're very fatigued, quite hungry, quite thirsty, and our stamina is really bad. So I'm just gonna have to stroll on home. And when I get there, I'll, I'll have a snooze. I don't believe we are injured at all, which is amazing considering we just did like a s triple backflip in our car. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. All right, let's get a wriggle on. We got to get home. Rise and shine. It's just about seven o'clock in the morning. We are a tad bit hungry, so I might just have a little chew on this chicken leg. I might also drink until I've had enough water. Now, we need to go back and get our car. So we have a battery here that's at 100%. Awesome. Um, I have a tire here. Excellent. I should have... That spark plug is 27. I'm not terribly sure if we have one that is better. We do. We have one at 50. Excellent. Um, I don't... Now I think about it. Oh, no. I don't actually know if I've got another engine. Oh, I do. Excellent. 40%. That will do. That engine is better than no engine at all. All right, I'm going to head back up here. I'm going to repair our car. And maybe we might see if that bears around while we're right here. Because he generally sort of hung around our old house. So uh, maybe we might see if he's there. Maybe we can chop him up and uh, take him home and uh, try out this jerky. I've never made jerky before. This could be kind of interesting. All right, where are you, Mr. Bear? I know you live in these woods here somewhere. I don't really know if I want to use this gun. I might maybe use the pistol, just because the shotgun's kind of like my favorite. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to be wasting all my favorite ammo. Uh, it's probably a better idea to get the car first, yeah? Because I've got stuff on me 
and uh, that should take out uh, shouldn't take out too much room. So look how far away my car actually was. It made it a long way rolling. That's <laughs> that's quite impressive. It rolled a long way. All right, let's uh, open this guy up. Chuck our engine in. It's gonna take 20 minutes. Sure, no worries. Uh, we'll put the better spark plug of the two in there. And I'm quite impressed that we have a battery at 100%. Like, that's uh, uncommon for me because I, I like to trash my cars, apparently. And we needed one tire. Awesome, awesome stuff. I am just so lucky that I didn't actually lose... Um, that I didn't lose my fuel. That I didn't, like, bust open my fuel tank or something. Did we actually come back down here and re-loot this area since day 10? I can't remember if we have or not. Let's have a quick nosy. Oh, we did not. We had a bottle there. All right, was there anything else around here? Anything in there? Nope. This area is all clear. Um, I don't believe they were infected in here. Can't hear any. All righty. Got another bottle. Awesome. I'm pretty sure we went through all this stuff, but I'm just going to double check it just to make sure I didn't miss anything because it is highly possible. If ever you guys do notice that I missed something, just uh, let me know in the comments section and I'll definitely go back and get it because I... It's one of my pet peeves. I hate going back and like editing my videos and then seeing that I've clearly walked past something. I'm like, you big dummy. You missed all sorts of good stuff back there. So uh, give me the sewing kit. I don't actually know what we need them for yet, but I'm guessing we will need them for something. I'm guessing we need to use them to make our own clothes. Um, Because I'm fairly certain there is some way you can make like armor or... Something like that. There must be something like that in the game, yeah? Alright, uh... Don't think... There seems to be not a lot of stuff in these guys. That's alright. Any stuff is better than no stuff. Alright, going upstairs. Now, are there... Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's any nasties up here. Um, okay. Now I remember. We, we trashed that filing cabinet by accident, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Well, I did, but uh, I like to make you guys like my partner in crime. <laughs> so uh, basically, if I do something being a dummy, I'm going to say that we did it. Like we collectively did it. I didn't do it on my own. <laughs> Makes me feel better. So then I know that I'm not being a big dummy on my own. All right. Uh, anything in here? Tin of paint. I wish I could take the paint. Be kind of cool to paint our little barn. All right, doesn't look like there's anything in this room. Awesome, awesome stuff. Quickly check around the side here. Got another bottle. These are going to be extremely handy for making all that booze. Nothing in the bin. Nothing in there. All righty. So we will head back to the car. Go see if we can find that bear and uh, hopefully take the bear out and uh, get some jerky happening. Let's have a look in here. i got to put some of this stuff away. Alright. So, I don't actually know if we are going to have enough stuff um, to be able to butcher the bear completely. But we can have a look. Alright. So, we're, we're four-wheel driving it at the moment, guys. Um, I just want to park my car somewhere near our old house here. And then, uh, hopefully, the bear shows up. I never thought I would actually say that. I never actually thought I would be hoping the bear would show up. Because this guy terrifies the heck out of me. Alright, he's over there. Um, I wonder how many shots it's going to take with the pistol. Kind of looks like the mist is rolling in as well. Alright. Uh, my help if I actually get him. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's broken. He's real broken. I don't know what happened there. But he just, like, freaked out on me. Bear, you're you you you're broken. Broken, bear. <laughs> but I used all of my pistol ammo before he went down. So, it did take a while. Um, 
Is the mist coming or not? What time is it? It's 9.30 in the morning. I guess we can try and get some of this started. Um, no, I, uh, I've only got, uh, a combat knife on me. Um, how much is it going to take to just get this meat off? All right, so it's half past nine. So it will be done by about quarter past 11. So, uh, let's try that. Let's proceed and fingers crossed the mist doesn't come. Yes, it is. All right, stop, stop. Oh, hang on. I'm broken. I'm broken, guys. I can't move. Dang it. There we go. There we go. Hang on. I just had to hit my escape button. So I wasn't actually broken. I freaked out for a minute there. Yeah, I know you are here. Oh my goodness. No. You can't come in here. Go away. <laughs> I've never seen them do that before. Oh my word. They are everywhere. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Get out of my house! Not that I really use this house anymore. It is still my house. Um, man, they're all just gonna keep coming, aren't they? This is not good. Oh jeez, we're gonna run out of bullets real quick. Like super quick if they just keep coming in. Oh my lordy lord. I'm pooping my pants. You know what? I'm actually going to save right here because I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious me. I can actually hear a different growling noise. Like it doesn't... It sounds different. It sounds different to the normal growling noise. So far, I've only had two infected that were smart enough to run around and climb through this window. So I'm literally just going to stand in this corner and be ready to kill anything that climbs through that window. I don't want to move because I don't want them to figure out how to get in here. So I'm just going to wait the mist out right here. <laughs> oh my word. That was like the longest in-game hour ever. That was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I do not want to do that again. I can't believe these guys trashed the window and they could actually jump through here. I did not know that was a thing. So, uh, there were a whole heap around the house, but the others weren't smart enough to actually work out how to get in. So, uh, it was actually only the two. Now, I do have some meat on me and I don't have much more room left in my inventory. So maybe we might quickly head home. Um cook this up and then come back and get the rest of the fat and stuff off the bear. I think that's probably the best idea. So let's reverse this bad boy up. And I am trying to be really careful with this. That's why I was so surprised by um, actually rolling the car. <laughs> I, I mean, I, someone did say to me that they, they rolled their car a few times, but I had honestly never... Um, Never encountered that problem until today. So, uh, yeah. I don't want to be making a habit of that. That's not something you want to do constantly. Because that was quite expensive. Like, we lost our battery, our engine. Um, probably going to need some more firewood, would I? Yes. Um, our, like, yeah. We lost our battery, our engine, our spark plug. Like, we lost everything, so... Let's not make a habit of doing that, all right? All right, interact with you. Chuck some wood in there. Let's get you started so I can start cooking some of this tasty bear meat kebabs up. I think that sounds delicious. Then we'll go back. I'll get the hide and um, everything else off of that bear as well um, because I don't want anything to go to waste. So I will wait for this to cook so it doesn't burn. Oh! Man, I'm such a dummy. I just realized what I did. Um, okay, maybe I'll cook this lot and then I'll salt the next lot because I forgot that's what we were meant to be doing. We we're actually meant to be salting this stuff because I don't actually know if you salt it um, before you cook it or if you salt it after you cook it. Let's uh, close this door quickly just while we figure this out, just in case. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, I need raw meat. So I need, oh no, hang on. It's counting all of them. So it doesn't matter. It can be cooked or it can be raw. So 
So I want to use the raw ones. Um, can I make... Oh, I can only make four? Um, I don't think I... Do what, I don't think I have enough salt on me to do that, to be totally honest. Um, there was some salt around here somewhere. All right, we got plenty of salt now. Let's, uh, let's salt that meat. Yes, I want to salt four. All righty. How does that work? Uh, I just threw one on the ground. Okay. And then we put it on the drying rack, I'm guessing. And this is how we make jerky? I honestly don't know. But I assume that's how it works. All right, we're at 9%. That is actually drying really quickly. That is awesome. All right, pick you up. Um, maybe I should salt all of our meat because um, I don't really need any food right this second. I might actually do that. Let's salt all of this. We're going to turn it all into jerky, however much I can. Now, I accidentally dropped some on the ground as well. Let's, uh, oops, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to pick up the stuff on the ground. Hmm, huh, this is going to be tricky. Can I move you and not lose all my meat? Can I do that? Do you still? Oh, awesome stuff. All right, pick up all the, <laughs> pick up all the meat that's on the ground everywhere. Hey, I'm just throwing meat around willy-nilly. All right, place some more of this. No, I didn't want to do that, you dummy. I wanted to um, place <laughs> the meat. I got meat everywhere. Check out all the meat. Oh my goodness. All right, we are going to need to get a generator happening ASAP so then we can get a refrigerator as well. Let's uh, move this guy back over to where it was. Thank you. Awesome stuff. Grab the dried meat off the ground. A little bit of dirt never hurt no one. It's like the 30 second rule, you know? If it drops on the ground and you pick it up within 30 seconds, it's still good. You can still eat it. <laughs> I don't recommend that method either. That was just me being silly. That's completely up to you, though. Like, you eat whatever you choose to eat. No one, uh, I'm not going to be one to judge. All right, let's see. I'm just going to put away some of my garbage. I might maybe eat this. Thank you. And we will need to reload all of our weapons because I'm fairly certain I've used majority of our ammo now um, like a big dummy. So, but uh, you get that. I was terrified. It was really terrifying. So, got another two bullets we can put in this one. I've only got one bullet left in my shotgun. I got no more ammo for that either. And then my pistol needs to be reloaded. I, think I actually put all of those shots into that bear. And, um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Something got broke. Something got broke. All right. We need to head back up and finish off this bear. Oh, hang on. I think I need an... Do I... What do I have on me? All right. I've got an axe on me. Okay, cool. Because I think we need the axe to be able to chop the head off. I know that sounds really gruesome. I do apologize for the terminology. But I honestly don't know how else to word it. Like, that's... Reality is, that's what we're doing. We're, we're harvesting this this bear so we can so we can have some tasty snacks later. We don't want to go starving to death. All right, we should be nearly there. And fingers crossed... Uh, Everything's looking good. All right, we still got a fair bit. We're not too fatigued yet, so hopefully we can get this done. I don't know if another bear is going to spawn in this area while we are doing this. I really hope not. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save again. Just in case, you never know. You never know when your face is going to get teared off by a rogue bear. All right, <laughs> let's, let's see. All right, so we're going to get all the animal fat. Thank you. We want the hide as well. And we want some guts. That is foul, but we want it. So it's going to take nearly four hours. All right, let's get that done. Huh. So I'm honestly not too sure what happened just then. It told me that I was um, butchering the bear, but I didn't actually get any of the stuff for it. So... It got really late at night, so I just headed home and um, had a snooze. 
So hopefully the bear is A, still there, and B, hopefully we can actually butcher it now. So it is seven o'clock in the morning, um, and I hate doing this sort of stuff first thing in the morning just because the infected seem to come out around, uh, around lunchtime for me. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's, uh, fingers crossed. I mean, it could just be something simple that I didn't notice. Like, maybe my, um, combat knife's broken or something like that. I don't know. Can't see another bear here. Let's have a look. We want to butcher you. I want to do this, and I want to get your fat. All right, let's butcher. Do that. Proceed. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, it's working now. I don't know why before it wasn't working. It was, the counter was working, um, like I was losing time. But, uh, it wasn't actually butchering. Maybe I asked it to do too much at once. I'm not terribly sure. Could also be because I cancelled it sort of mid, mid, like, way before. Maybe I sort of freaked it out a little bit. Alright, that's gonna do... I'm not going to worry about the guts. We're just going to leave that there because it is going to get misty again soon. And I really don't want to be held up in that little shack like I was last time. I didn't realize they could break through the windows. That is extremely terrifying. So I'm, I'm definitely happy with our choice of location down here and fencing it all in. Um... Now, another person did also suggest that maybe we should build some cabins. So I do want to look into getting that done as well. So uh, let's have a look in the back of our car here. Grab those components and see if we've got enough to indeed make a generator now. All right, put... Uh, I'm going to need more firewood. Dang it! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I do apologize. I'm kind of running around in circles. I'm getting a little bit lost as to everything that I need to do. I've got so much to get done. And uh, not much time to get it done in. All right, so I'm going to need some more firewood. So let's uh, do that first. Thank you. Awesome stuff. So now we can get this fat rendering. Chuck the firewood in here, thank you. And I might just keep the spare four down there. Alright, light this bad boy up. Awesome stuff. Now, let's go up here and render some fat off. Awesome stuff. So that is working away nicely. Now, in order to get a generator... What did we need? We need some gears. All right, I think I've got four gears, um, which isn't quite going to be enough. So we're going to need to melt some more of this metal down. Now, is this dry yet? It is. It's 100% dry. Awesome. Oh, I can't pick it up. That's all right. Um, interact with this guy. We have another piece here that we would like to put on there. Awesome stuff. Now, let's go have a look and get some of this stuff smelted. We need to um, get a whole heap of this done so then we can get some more gears. So let's fill this up. Now, I got ripped off last time. It said I was going to get 12 and I actually only got 8. So I believe they have fixed that bug though. So we're going to give it another go. And fingers crossed we get 12 this time. Only one way to find out if it's fixed or not. All right, let's have a look here. Now we need some gears. So we can craft another two gears. Awesome stuff. Get that done. Hopefully we don't encounter any mist while we are doing that. Looks like we might be in the all clear. Awesome. So I have five gears. So I actually only need uh, one more, I believe. Yeah, I need one more gear. Now, I'm also wondering if maybe we should make this stump. Uh, because you get more firewood from it. So maybe while that's smelting, we might uh, we might do that. Let's go uh, build. Uh, we are going to build a stump. Thank you very much. And, I mean, it makes sense to have it in here. Um, with all the logs. <laughs> So I'll probably actually get some storage in here as well at some stage. So that's pretty cool. So how does that work? Do I just put the logs in there or do I still have to do it myself? I don't actually know. 
All right, so one log is going to give us five firewood, and it's going to put the storage down there. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see. We can make 20. It's going to take us eight minutes. I actually think that's faster as well. Could be wrong. Oh, no, it's going to give it to me. Can I? Yep, awesome. I can keep my firewood in here. Excellent. That is what I like to see. Now, how is our fat rendering out over here? Let's have a look-see. Ooh, I left something on the grill. Um, there is some charcoal on our grill. <laughs> Oopie days. I may have um, burnt something beyond recognition. I may have put something on there and completely forgot I put it on there. <laughs> We've got a little bit more fat. We've got some storage down here. So we do have some low-grade fuel there. Awesome stuff. How are our bars going? I don't actually know how long this takes. Can I just take them? Oh, I can. Awesome. Thank you very much. Huh. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, but I'm not going to complain because I get to make my... Uh, I get to make my generator now. Alright. Now. Ooh, the mist is coming. Good job. Let's get in here. Alright. Because I can still take them out through that fence if they get inside. Let's see. Where do we want to place the generator? Maybe I might place the generator back here somewhere. I'm wondering if it has like a radius in which that it works. I don't honestly know. So, um, hmm. Maybe I might place the generator here next to the window. Looks like a pretty good spot to me. And uh, let's, uh, gotta build that guy. Um, I need a hammer. Alrighty. Give me one of those suckers. Thank you. Let's build this guy. Build away. Awesome stuff. The mist is here, but we should be completely safe in here. And like I said, if they do come over to the fence, I can just pop them off with my knife. Now, how does this work? All right, so it's got no fuel. It says that we have two lights. I can turn them on and off. And how do I put... Okay, so I put fuel in there and then go add fuel, turn on. All right, looks pretty straightforward. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I think all our fat is rendered out um, over here now because it has gone off again. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, I actually think I'm going to have to leave this episode here today, guys. We have got a lot done. We've got a generator now. We rolled our car, which is an accomplishment in itself. We also have a whole heap of this tasty meat that is drying. It is actually already dry. Um, I wonder how much uh, stuff that gives us. How much food do you give me? Do you give me a bit? Um, it's quite tasty. Kind of chewy, a little bit salty. Not bad, not bad at all. That that did quite well, actually. Did a little bit better than I thought it was going to do. Um, let's have a look in here. Going to get some more of this and place that back on the drying rack. I want to make sure this guy is full. So interact with you. Place some more on there. Awesome stuff. And I'm just going to let that store there. Kind of like you do Matt Worst. It's just going to hang there and dry. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for joining me again today. And I hope to see you all again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.